In November 2019, researchers announced that they had discovered more than 140 new geoglyphs in Nazca. If you don't know what Nazca lines are, these lines are a group of very large geoglyphs, formed by depression or shallow cuts, in the soil of the Nazca Desert south of Peru. The total length of the lines is more than 1,300 kilometers, and covers an area of about 50 square kilometers. The lines are usually 10 to 15 centimeters deep. The width of the lines varies considerably between 30 centimeters and 180 centimeters. They date back to 500 BC to 500 AD. These lines were built by pre-Inca people, the Andean civilization. Some Nazca lines form shapes that are best seen from the sky at a distance of 500 meters. However, they can also be seen from the surrounding foothills and other highlands. These lines include more than 70 animal designs such as mountain chickens, spiders, fish, vultures, monkeys, lizards, dogs and even humans, trees and flowers. But there are other creatures and birds that are completely unknown to researchers. These lines were introduced in 1994 as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Until 1940, these lines were thought to be ancient roads. On page 210 of the Indian-Peruvian Geographical Relations book, Luis Monzon notes that he saw ancient ruins in Peru, including the remains of Rhodes. But the true nature of these lines was officially discovered in 1941, when Paul Cossack, an American historian at Long Island University, became the first scientist to study Nazca lines. He flew over these lines and realized that one of them was in the shape of a bird. Subsequent excavations revealed that not only one but all of these lines were animal-shaped, human-shaped and even beyond the inhabitants of the Earth. Then came two questions. These lines, which could not be seen from the ground, how built with ancient facilities? And what was the reason for creating these lines? Many researchers, perhaps the most famous of which is Eric von Däniken, attributed the creation of these lines to ancient astronauts. This hypothesis has existed for years until a researcher named Joe Nickel used the tools and facilities available to the Nazca people and produced similar shapes and compared them to Nazca lines. Thus the hypothesis of ancient astronauts was disproved. But another question remained. What was the reason for drawing these shapes? There are hypotheses that other creatures in the sky may have been able to see the Nazca lines, or these lines were built for astronomical purposes. In 2011, a Japanese team from Yamagata University began new research at the site with the help of IBM. Then in 2018, the team announced that IBM's artificial intelligence had discovered more lines, and perhaps this image is the most important ones. A shape of a human being, or an extraterrestrial. According to researchers, one of the most important discoveries in this area is the remains of aquatic creatures or pottery pieces. 
but the reason for create the lines was still unclear until, according to The Guardian in May 2020, researchers identified the site as a secret site for rainmaking. Now a question arises. Is it really possible to make rain? The ancient art of rainmaking was once practiced around the world. From the far and Middle East to the early Native Americans. And this represented the sacred relationship between man and God. In fact, the deep connection between the earth and the universe, the intrinsic and intimate understanding of the basic elements and the nature of the universe. It is important for us humans to be part of the universe. But we modern humans have lost that understanding of the natural world. And we are moving toward the digital world on our own. Crop circles are the names of strange patterns that appear overnight on farmers' farms, especially wheat fields. The first appeared in the UK in 1970, and have appeared in various other areas over the decades. According to researchers, although humans are capable of making them and may be counterfeit, the precise use of mathematical laws to create these shapes in such a large size, has led researchers to can't answer the question of, who or what created them? But some of these patterns are images that are very similar to Nazca lines. 